As friends and family tries to make sense of the fatal murder-suicide that shook the Karakou community in Brooklyn, one of the victims in this sordid love triangle, a husband, father, construction worker, and Calypso entertainer, was offered a public tribute in Brooklyn before he says farewell to the country that has become his second home for almost two decades. Deliver him. By your sending of the Holy Spirit. Deliver him. On the day when you return in glory. Deliver him. 44-year-old Kenley Rhino Joseph became the intended target of a crime of passion, and his untimely and violent death at the hands of Jerry Patterson added another grim statistic to the 730 murder suicides that have impacted families across the United States in 2015. There were emotionally charged tributes from those who knew Rhino well at the service. Knew him, he had a heart full of love and compassion. He was never too busy or too tired to help someone in need. Because of his exuberant personality, he was loved and respected and was a blessing to everyone. By the church. Let us not forget his purpose here on earth and the impact he had on the lives of many. Remember, he is in a better place, a place of rest and not pain or sorrow. He will be missed and will always be kept in our hearts and our minds. On behalf of my relatives, I want to welcome you all here this evening and to thank you for the tremendous outpouring of sympathy concern and support that we have experienced and witnessed over the past few days. Your love, respect and admiration for Kenny have been truly touching. The throngs of mourners included his co-workers, the legendary Sandhogs, who were currently working on the 2nd Avenue subway tunnel in Manhattan, immediate and extended family, friends and the who is who of Grenadian Calypso and Soka in the Brooklyn community. The other side of this happened recently, the, the other funeral. Uh, it is also easy to be angry and bitter about the people who did this, but that's not going to help anybody and it's not going to help your heart to be bitter, experience sadness and confusion, but trust in God and forgive and be peaceful in your heart. But on the way forward, we all as a community, we have to come together to see if we can help that family put the pieces together, because it's a long road for the family. You know, so I, I want to say to the community, let us not be judgmental in this period, but be supportive. Like Patterson before him, Rhino will be interred in his native Karakou at a later date, in a tribute that is fitting for a national cultural icon. The third victim in this sordid tragedy is still warded at the Kings County Hospital in Brooklyn. Reporting from New York, this is Kellan Bobby.